Our adventure starts in Cumberland, Maryland, where the CNO Canal towpath ends and the Great Allegheny Passage begins. One little hint, if you plan to ride more than a few miles on either the CNO Canal towpath or the Gap, then a great investment would be at the Trail Guide. For $10, you can learn everything you ever wanted to know about riding on both the CNO Canal towpath and the Great Allegheny Passage, including where to repair your bike, stay, and eat. The origins of navigation along the Potomac began with two of the young nation's most important leaders. Thomas Jefferson and George Washington both believed the Potomac was the best way to reach the Ohio Valley. But it wasn't until Washington toured the area in 1784 that he became truly excited about developing the route. In 1785, Washington chartered the Potomac Company for the purpose of clearing a river channel and building skirting canals around the river's more turbulent sections. But the country had other plans for Washington. After chairing the Constitutional Convention, he was elected as the first President of the United States in 1789. So he appointed his friend Thomas Jefferson to fill his post as President of the Potomac Company, but kept an eye on the difficult work being done there. As you ride the trail from Cumberland to Washington, D.C., you see the Potomac River on your right majority of the time, and you can see the remnants of the canal on your left. Although construction began in 1828, it took 22 years to complete the canal, several years after the B&O Railroad had already reached Cumberland. The waterway averaged 50 feet wide and 6 feet deep and was 184 miles long. It required the construction of 74 canal locks, 11 hand-hewn stone aqueducts, and more than 240 culverts to cross smaller streams. It's hard to imagine that water once flowed through here, but this is what an aqueduct looked like. The canal boats were built so they had about three inches of clearance on either side, so you had to be a pretty good navigator to get through the lock, and the lock keepers had to work 24-7 in order to allow boats through at any time of the day or night.
They put a modern highway right over the top of this lock. One lock right after another here. Well, here's the second lock house that we've encountered on our journey, and I understand that some have been restored and they're available for overnight stays through the CNO Canal Trust. I believe those are closer to Georgetown. During the Civil War, the Potomac River became the physical barrier between opposing sides, and the CNO Canal became a strategic supply line often targeted by the Confederates. Okay, the middle. Oh. The canal couldn't compete with rail in terms of speed or capacity, and so it was nearly obsolete from the time of its opening. But the canal continued to operate until 1924, when a damaging flood destroyed it beyond repair. It was established as a national park in 1971. So, I don't know, we went 15 miles down the CNO Canal from Cumberland, Maryland. Um, it's an all right ride. You feel pretty lonely because you're really out in the middle of nowhere. But I'm pretty excited to say, look behind us, you know, that's Potomac. That's the Potomac River. Why did you move out of the frame? Get back yeah, in the frame. See. No, they can. They still can. Right behind us is the Potomac River, and that goes, obviously, all the way down to Washington, D.C. So, I'm happy I did this trail, but I think the more exciting part of it is closer to Washington yeah. than up here in, in the, at the end of the trail. It's a very easy ride, all flat and kind of a gravel to a crushed stone base, um, but it, it's a nice trail. The Paw Paw Tunnel is one of the most significant engineering features on the canal. We couldn't quite get there with the battery power on our bikes, so the next morning we took off in the car. It was a really foggy morning, and we had a tractor trailer and a truck right on our rear end almost the whole ride. When we went to make the turn, we almost bought the farm. This isn't the real video, but it felt like this. To save building six miles of canal along the river, the CNO Canal Company decided to construct a tunnel. When work began on the tunnel in 1836, the builders estimated the project would be complete within two years. The tunnel ultimately required 14 years to complete due to labor issues, violence, funding shortfalls, work stoppages, and the challenges of digging a 3,118-foot tunnel through the hard loose shale. The tunnel opened in October 1850 with rock slides continuing to be a challenge throughout the tunnel's history. Here we are at the Paw Paw Tunnel, 
and the Crocodile Tunnel. It's it's a tunnel for boats. It says it started in the early 1800s and didn't finish it until 1850 with a lot of deaths and injury from the black powder that they were using to, to blast the tunnel. We decided to walk through the tunnel because it was really bumpy and partway through I didn't want to continue, it was too far to go, so we turned around and walked back out. I regret that decision now because pictures from the other side looked really fantastic. Well, that's the end of this ride. Hope you enjoyed it.